Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So a recent subscriber asked me a question about how you can use AirSpy's SDR Sharp to decode DMR radio or DMR audio. Uh, I used an application called DSD Plus in one of my recent videos uh, and today I'm going to show you how you can set that up. Now this is going to be assuming that you've already have SDR Sharp already installed and you already have your RTL SDR connected to SDR Sharp and you are able to receive. So in order for this to work we need to download three different pieces of software. Now these are quite important and they all have their own particular job to do. So we're gonna come away from here because we're already gonna assume that you've downloaded SDR Sharp. If you haven't, you can go to airspy.com forward slash download and you can download the package here. So the first piece of software that we're going to need to use is VB Audio. Now imagine this is like a virtual cable um, inside your computer. What it allows you to do is actually take the audio output from SDR Sharp and internally pipe that audio into the DSD Plus application. Obviously then DSD Plus will take that audio and decode the digital audio into analog so you can understand and hear what's going on. So first thing to do is download the VB cable virtual device. We'll come back to these in a moment. The other thing that you need to download will be actually DSD Plus itself. Now DSD Plus is the application which decodes the digital audio into analog so you can hear it. There's two files from this download page that you'll need and that will be DSD Plus and you're also going to need the DSD Plus DLL files. Okay, so we now have three downloads. Now the last download is actually optional, but I'm gonna cover this because it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to use once you've got it set up. Uh, this is a plugin for SDR Sharp, which allows you to start and stop DSD from using SDR Sharp because DSD Plus is actually a command line tool. It actually runs in a DOS terminal window. But using this plugin, it makes things a lot easier. So just navigate over to this page and go down to the download button. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at what we've downloaded. So we've got three packages here. First of all, let's get DSD sorted out. So we need to uncompress DSD plus, extract files, and we're gonna uncompress the DSD plus DLLs. So first thing we'll do is we're going to DSD plus DLLs. We'll copy them, right mouse click, click copy, go back to our downloads folder, and then go back into the actual DSD plus folder, click paste. So we now have all of the DSD files in the same folder. We don't need this folder anymore. And we also don't need these two downloads. I'm just going to re rename this to DSD Plus just to make things easier. This DSD.zip here, this is actually going to be the plugin that we need to go ahead and put into our SDR Sharp installation. So, first of all, let's just take this file. So, if we copy this and we go and find where we installed SDR Sharp, and we literally just paste it in here. Now I already have it in here. Let's go back to our downloads. Now if you open up this text file, you're gonna find this line of code. Now this is quite important. This is so that it adds the DSD plugin into SDR Sharp so that it's visible. So just copy this line of code, close that window, go back to wherever you installed SDR Sharp and look for a file called plugins.xml. I'm just going to open this up with normal notepad. Now I've got mine already added in here, but all you'd need to do would be to make a new line, say like the third one down, right mouse click, click paste, just to line them up nicely, and then click save. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Obviously I've got two here, so you wouldn't have two. Okay, so once that's installed, and that should now be working in... SDR Sharp, we don't need this anymore. We can delete that and we can delete this folder. 
So the last thing to install is VB cable. So I'll just extract that. Find the setup. If you've got a 64-bit machine, double click this X64. Now I've already got it installed, so it says remove driver. So if you need to install it, it will say install. Literally just click install and then restart your machine. Very easy to do. So once you've done that, you can delete those files. So this folder will always going to keep. So you can either keep it in your downloads folder, but I would recommend moving it to somewhere like your documents folder. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. So now you can go ahead and open up SDR Sharp. Let's get our SDR Sharp software set up ready to work with decoding DMR or DSTART. DSD Plus actually does decode a few different types of digital data or digital audio data. You do need to make sure that it's set to NFM and you obviously then need to find the frequency where some digital data is being transmitted. But before we go on to that, let's have a look at the settings that we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is come down to where it says audio. Okay, If it's not already expanded, click the little arrow and you've got here output. What you should be able to do now is click on output and you select your cable input. So this is from the virtual cable audio driver which we installed earlier. This is going to tell SDR Sharp to pump its audio output straight to there. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to the DSD interface. Audio device. So this is actually going to be telling DSD where the input audio is. So obviously we'd also select VB audio virtual cable. Click configure and at the top up here, it says DSD path. So I'm just going to click it and I'm going to go to documents, find DSD plus and then find DSD plus.exe, click open. Okay, so that has actually now told the DSD plugin where to find the command line application. Over here on decoder options, there's a couple of things that we can change. Now, if you're not too sure about what you're going to be decoding, then you can leave it to auto detect. But if you already know that you're going to be looking at just DMR, then I would suggest for you to actually select the mode you want to listen to. So these are the options that you've got. You've got D-Star, NXDN, P25, X2, TDMA. Um, these are all different types of modulations, digital modulations that you can decode. Yeah, we're going to be looking at DMR. So I'm just going to select DMR. This makes it a little bit more reliable at decoding. And then down here, I'm going to say create command line. Click create command line and it will change the settings here. Click OK. Right, so let's go ahead and find a DMR frequency. So click start. Okay, so once you're tuned into a frequency on SDR Sharp, which you know is a digital transmission, then we can go ahead and now start DSD. So down here on the bottom left, we're going to enable AUX output, and we're gonna click Start DSD. So when you first press the Start DSD button, it's going to open up some command line windows. The first thing will actually be DSD Plus. Now the information shown here on the screen is actually quite important because it's gonna show us what audio input devices are available and which audio output devices are available. By default, it will actually should select the correct audio output. So where the decoded audio is gonna be sent to. So mine is actually going to be speakers. And as you can see here, the option says audio output device is number one. Now audio input device is where you selected it over on DSD plus which will actually be the virtual audio cable. So once that's working, we can then go ahead and start our SDR software. And let's kind of hope that we can find some digital transmissions going on. Uh, KA5 SIT mobile from T0 LA text. Thank you for the QSL, sir. Well, thank you as well, sir. Uh, I miss living over... Uh, on your side of the, the earth, uh, I lived in Germany for a while when I was stationed there in the Army. 
I uh, absolutely loved uh, that part of the world. Unfortunately, never did make it over uh, to Great Britain. Um, that's one of the areas that I wanted to be able to go is Great Britain and Ireland and, and Scotland and all those areas, but I never did make it over there. did get a chance to go all over mainland Europe. Um, anyway, hopefully someday when I retire again, I'll have the, the time and opportunity to do it. Uh, wish you the best, sir. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. And appreciate the the cue, so. uh, 73 to you and your family, sir. This is KA5, SIG, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, mobile and monitoring. Yeah. Clear us out. No problems at all. You did mention the time was six some ago. There. It's 12.31 here at the moment in the afternoon. 73. So when I first started DSD from SDR Sharp, it opened up all these different windows, which I mentioned earlier. This one down here is the source audio. This is pretty self-explanatory. It kind of gives you a, uh, a broken kind of waveform to show you that you've got some audio being pumped into DSD+, Plus, which is great. You've also got this little window at the top here. This will actually show you the source ID or the ID of the radio, which is being used to transmit whether it's on slot one or slot two as well down here we have the event log which basically records everything that goes on we have so so far it says we've got 22 radios recorded so it's recorded 22 different radio ids what you might have noticed when you was listening to the sample decoding that i just played is that the audio was coming out of the left channel now that is because this software can decode slot one and slot two at the same time. It needs to pump that audio to two separate channels. So slot one would go to the left speaker and slot two would go to your right speaker. Using the numeric keypad on your keyboard, you can actually change it to say, look for the second time slot or press one for the first time slot. Or if you press three, it listens to both of them. Anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful to you. If you've got any questions on this or want me to cover anything more, then please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comment section below. I will leave a link to all these different software packages in the video description below. And until next time, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. <music>